Ladies and gentlemen, please stand. Their Excellencies, the Right Honourable Dame Patsy Reddy, Governor General of New Zealand, and Sir David Gascoigne. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, warm greetings to you all and welcome to Government House. I specifically acknowledge the Honourable Orpito William Seal, Minister of the Crown, our Kuya, Dr. Hiria Hape, and our Komatua, Professor Piri Shasha. Tēnā koutou. It's a real pleasure to host this afternoon's investiture ceremony and bring together 11 honour recipients along with their family and friends to recognise the contributions they've made to our country. As Governor-General, I have the authority and the privilege on behalf of Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth, the Queen of New Zealand, to hold an investiture for her and to bestow the honours to which each recipient is entitled. Ladies and gentlemen, as each recipient is honoured, I invite you to join me in congratulating and thanking them for their service to our country. And now, Ward Kamal will summon the recipients and read a citation for each one. Your Excellency, to receive the insignia of a companion of the New Zealand Order of Merit, Mrs. Andre Talbot of Auckland, for services to the Plunkett Society. Andre Talbot has been involved with Plunkett in governance roles since the 1990s. She served as national president, overseeing Plunkett's moves towards consolidating nationally into a charitable trust. Previously, she was president of the Devonport sub-branch, where she led a major project for new Plunkett rooms and president of the Waitamata Area Committee, linking the eight branch committees and their sub-branch committees into a cohesive group. She joined the Plunkett New Zealand Council and represented Waitamata at national conferences. She was a member of three national working groups, including a review of the Society's Rules, the Centenary Committee, and Plunkett's Governance, Leadership and Succession Planning Working Party. She chaired the national board and served on several national subcommittees.
Your Excellency, to receive the insignia of a Companion of the Queen's Service Order, Mr Martin Dunn of Wellington for services to the state. Martin Dunn served in East Timor with the New Zealand Army. As the Comptroller of Customs and Chief Executive of the New Zealand Customs Service, he oversaw the initiation and implementation of free trade agreement negotiations regarding customs aspects, <coughs> the launch of the new Joint Border Management System and the creation of the Intelligence, Targeting and Operations Centre. He was Chair of the World Customs Organisation and New Zealand High Commissioner to Australia. He was Director General for Primary Industries, leading the Ministry for Primary Industries through the process of modernising and integrating the Ministry of Agriculture and Forestry, the Ministry of Fisheries and the New Zealand Food Safety Authority. He introduced and embedded MPI's new strategy of growing and protecting New Zealand and chaired the Border Sector Governance Group. Your Excellency, to receive the insignia of an Officer of the New Zealand Order of Merit, Mrs Lindsay Corbyn of Auckland, for services to governance. Lindsay Corbyn was a member of the Council of the Uni University of Auckland, chairing committees and serving as pro-chancellor. She was deputy chair of the Auckland College of Education, playing a pivotal role in the merger with the University of Auckland and of Learning Media, where she was involved in a large-scale change project and the appointment of a new chief executive. She is involved with the Museum of Transport and Technology, MOTET. She chairs the Human Resources Committee of the Graham Dingle Foundation. She co-led an organisational review for the National Board of the SPCA, resulting in a restructure into a national organisation. Mrs Corburn also provided support and advice to the board and chief executive of Lifeline during a number of key changes. Your Excellency, to receive the insignia of a member of the New Zealand Order of Merit, Mr Malcolm Cowie of Auckland, for services to football. Malcolm Cowie joined the New Zealand Secondary Schools, NZSS, a football <coughs> national executive committee in 1988 and has served as chairman for 18 years. He introduced international tours to secondary schools and created the Under-19 Trans-Tasman Trophy. He has overseen the significant growth of national schools tournaments and has been instrumental in developing NZSS football representative programs at under-15 and under-19 levels. He has coached football at St Kentikens College for 29 years. He co-established the West Ham Oceanian Academy National Camp in New Zealand. Mr Cowie was a selector and voluntary coach for the Auckland Football Association for many years.
Mrs Liz King of Auckland for services to aviation. Liz King has been involved with the North Shore Aero Club, NSAC, since 1986 and served on the Royal New Zealand Aero Club National Executive. She volunteered as competition coordinator and reignited interest in competition flying at the NSAC. She was a driving force behind the Flying New Zealand Air Safari, which involved flying teams from across New Zealand. As New Zealand Federation Aeronautique Internationale representative, she has helped increase communication between the various aviation disciplines and groups. Mrs King has been involved with Hobsonville RSA School Boards of Trustees and Plunkett in the Waitemata area and is a National Society board member. Mrs. Joan Lardner Rivlin of Auckland for services to seniors. Joan Lardner Rivlin worked with the Volunteer Community Coordinators Program with the Office for Senior Citizens. She is Secretary of the Auckland District Council of Social Services, through which she helped launch an inner city network. She is Chair of Takapuna North Community Trust and has worked on various community projects. She is an active member for Auckland Council's Senior Advisory Panel. She is a member of Northcote Citizens Advice Bureau, CAB, and the North Shore CAB Board. Mrs Alardna Rivlin is a trustee of the Kaipa Tiki Community Trust, a member of the Birkdale Beach Haven Community Project and Age Concern, and chair of the North Shore-based Our Women's Network. Ms. Sharon Shea for services to Māori Health and Development. Sharon Shea was the Northern Regional Health Authority's strategy manager and a key member of its Māori Health team. She helped write the first contracts between Māori Health providers and government. She was a strategic and operational leader for multiple Māori Health teams. She has supported Māori Health and Wellbeing through her consulting business, Shea Peter and Associates Limited. She was national trainer and advisory for a whole of government adoption of results-based accountability. She has sat on numerous boards and is a member of the North Shore Māori Women's Welfare League, a guest presenter on the Flea radio station and a regular sponsor of the South Auckland Desire Dance Academy.
Dr. Rob Stewart of Paua Nui for services to children with genetic immune deficiency disorders. Rob Stewart was a voluntary medical advisor to the Kids Foundation, which supports families with children born with genetic immune deficiency disorders. He developed information about primary genetic immune deficiency disorders that resulted in faster diagnosis and application of therapies for the affected <coughs> children. Dr. Stewart was the on-site medical advisor for the annual Kids Camps, which allowed children with rare medical disorders to have school camp experiences with medical care immediately available. He was a member of the International Patients Organisation for Primary Immunodeficiencies Medical <coughs> Advisory Board. He is clinical leader of the Auckland Primary Health Organisation and the general practitioner in solo practice at the Avondale Family Doctor Clinic. Your Excellency, to receive the Queen's Service Medal, Mr. Virinda Agarwal of Auckland for Services to Asian Communities. Virinda Agarwal is chairperson and a founding member of the Asian Network Inc, which assists Asian communities in Auckland through information sharing, training opportunities and government submissions. He represents the Indian community on the Older People's Advisory Group. He founded and was president of the Global Organization for Persons of Indian Origin West branch. He leads fundraising committees for the Shanti Niwas a Charitable Trust. He was a migrant representative to the Minister of Consumer Affairs and has been an executive committee member of Migrant Support Services. Mr Agrawal chaired the working committee of Shakti Family Settlement and Social Services. Ms. Florence Sherman of Cambridge for services to seniors. Florence Sherman was a volunteer community coordinator for the Office for Senior Citizens representing Thames, Coromandel and then Waikato. She has coordinated a number of Global Walk for Seniors events. She led the campaign to establish a health shuttle service for Cambridge which led to the inception of the St John Health Shuttle Service. Close to 300 client journeys are now made each month through the shuttle service. She was previously a volunteer at the Whangamata Police Station. Ms Shearman volunteered as a friend at court in Hamilton and currently assists the Cambridge Police with matters of support for the ageing population.
Mr Anthony Warren of Kaikohe for services to youth. Anthony Warren established Temira Gym in Kaikohe to offer youth more options and steer them away from gang and drug culture. The gym is operated by volunteers with all funds being raised through donations. Through the gym, Mr Warren has supported youth to develop positive relationships, school engagement and physical fitness and lessen health issues. Demira has worked with police, corrections, the courts, schools, mental health groups and medical centres to build up intervention schemes and has partnered with businesses locally to provide work experience and cadetships. Around 500 young people use the facility each month. Your Excellency, the investiture is concluded. An investiture ceremony is the most important event I hold on behalf of Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth, the Queen of New Zealand. It allows me, as Governor General, to recognise and thank an extraordinary group of people on behalf of all New Zealanders. By using their talents to make ours a better society, whether by service to their communities or their commitment to excellence in their field of expertise or their leadership in diverse fields of endeavour. Our recipients have set a fine example to others, encouraging them in their own endeavours. To the recipients, it's been a privilege to hear your stories today. You have demonstrated determination, commitment and compassion in your daily lives. In your own way, each of you has helped make New Zealand a better place to live. In some cases, your influence and the positive impact of your work has extended beyond our shores. Your actions and the stories we've heard reflect the spirit of the words of Mahatma Gandhi when he said, the best way to find yourself is to lose yourself in the service of others. Your contributions have enriched the cultural, social and economic fabric of Aotearoa New Zealand. Please wear your insignia with pride, knowing that your communities appreciate and value your work and are inspired by your example. On behalf of the Queen of New Zealand and all New Zealanders, I congratulate you on your achievements and I thank you for your service to our country. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that almost brings to a close the formal part of today's ceremony. But before we break for refreshments, may I ask you to stand and join me in singing our national anthem in Māori and in English. And the words are on the back of the program. <laughs> 